don't try, Spiky. I wish I could control your brain to make you feel better. But I'm not crying because of my brain. Can't you see that the tears are coming out of my eyes? Yes, I can see that. But your brain control all of your emotions like when you cry or laugh. Stop teasing me, Bubbles. I'm going. Spiky, wait. Bubbles is right. Your brain, or rather the nervous system, controls your feelings and bodily functions. I don't understand. Your nervous system controls everything you do. Everything? What do you mean? It controls your movement, emotions, thoughts, and even the actions that you don't think about. Like your heartbeat. These actions are all controlled by the nervous system. But the nervous system doesn't only consist of your brain. Actually, it makes up your entire body. Our nervous system is divided into two main networks that work in harmony. The central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of your brain and spinal cord. This is the control center of the entire nervous system. Then, we have the peripheral nervous system, which refers to the parts of the nervous system that are outside of the brain and spinal cord, such as the nerves. But what are nerves? A nerve is a bundle of fibers that convey signals to and from the brain. Let's take a closer look at the structure and function of the central nervous system. The brain is divided into three main parts, the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. The largest section of the brain is called the forebrain. It consists of three main parts, the cerebrum, thalamus, and hypothalamus. The cerebrum makes up over three quarters of the brain's volume. It controls higher functions like interpreting touch, vision and hearing, as well as speech, decision-making, emotions, learning, and fine control of movement. Spiky, now you know what was controlling your emotions when you were crying. It was your cerebrum. Inside the cerebrum, there is a small structure called the diencephalon. That makes up the core of the brain. The diencephalon consists of the thalamus and the hypothalamus. The thalamus processes and transmits information from all senses except smell. The hypothalamus helps regulate the body's temperature, hunger, and sleep. Then we have the midbrain, which is a smaller part of the brain and is located below the cerebrum. Its primary function is to transfer information and impulses between the forebrain and hindbrain. Let's see what the hindbrain does. The hindbrain consists of the cerebellum, pons, and medulla oblongata. The cerebellum is located under the cerebrum. It is the second largest part of the brain. It carries signals from other parts of the brain to the spinal cord. The cerebellum coordinates muscle movements, particularly those that help maintain the body's balance and posture. The brain stem lies in front of the cerebellum and connects the brain to the spinal cord. The brain stem is a collection of structures that include the pons. The pons controls many functions like sleep, swallowing, and taste. The medulla oblongata forms the posterior part of the brain, which is connected with the spinal cord. It controls your heartbeat, breathing, and digestion. 
The medulla oblongata continues working while the rest of the brain goes to sleep. Now you know which part of your brain controls each action made by your body. Let's summarize what we have learned in this video. The nervous system controls our movement, emotions, thoughts, and even the actions that we don't think about. The nervous system is divided into two parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consists of the brain and the spinal cord. It is the control center of the entire nervous system. The brain is divided into three parts, the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. The forebrain is the largest section of the brain. It consists of three main parts, the cerebrum, thalamus, and hypothalamus. It controls our actions and sensory functions. The midbrain is the smallest part of the brain and is located below the cerebrum. The hindbrain consists of the cerebellum, pons, and medulla oblongata. It controls movements and functions like sleep and taste.